In today's video, I am going to explain important muscle anatomy for yoga pose. Today's pose is tree pose. This is single leg position, right? You sustain body weight on one leg. This requires good balance because single leg is not very stable, right? Originally, human is biped creature. Biped means we stand on two legs. Naturally, two legs are unstable. Think about quadrupeds. Quadrupeds means uh, animals that stand on four legs, like dogs, cats, horse, right? They are quadrupeds. They support their body weight on four legs. How about human? We only have two legs. That's unstable. Then how about single leg? That's even more unstable, right? That is why tree pose requires good balance on body. I want to focus on foot, ankle, leg, and core. Let's get started with ankle muscle. This is medial view of right foot. Right foot, you are looking right foot from medial view, from inside view. I want to focus on one muscle, that is this one, this thin long muscle. This is flexor hallucis longus. Flexor hallucis longus. That attaches to big toe. Now its function is flexion of big toe. Flexion. It's like this movement. This is very important to create balance of foot. You know, big toe is freaking important for foot mechanics and foot balance. That is why flexor hallucis longus very important. So if you feel unstable during tree pose, you may focus on big toe and try to flex your big toe. Try to kind of bite the yoga mat. That may increase your balance. Then one more thing about flexor hallucis longus. When this muscle gets adequate tension, when this muscle gets adequate contraction, that is good for foot arch. You know, our foot has kind of archy structure. It's like architecture, right? This kind of arch structure is important to spread stress of body, like this. See? The stress from above and this arch structure spreads mechanical stress. That is why foot arch is important. Then flexor hallucis longus maintains arch structure. Of course, other muscles are involved for foot arch. Flexor hallucis longus is one of them. When this muscle gets too tight or if you cannot use this muscle, that aggravates mechanics of arch structure. So flexor hallucis longus is important for two things. That moves big toe. This is important for foot balance. One more thing is flexor hallucis longus is important for arch structure. So if you feel unstable during tree pose, you may focus big toe and try to flex your big toe. Then you may feel good balance through foot. You know, foot is base of body. If your base is unstable, maybe core, maybe upper extremity are also unstable. Foot is very important, especially tree pose is single leg pose. Hmm, makes sense. Then let's go to thigh. I want to focus on medial part of thigh. There's big muscle group here. This is adductor muscle. Adductor muscles. If you want to be very specific, there are a bunch of adductor muscles. But I want to talk about adductor muscles in general. This place is also important to maintain balance. One reason is adductors are close to 
midline of body. If muscles are closer to midline, they have important role for balance. Vice versa, if muscles is away from midline, they don't have much effect for balance. Of course, they are related for somewhat for balance, but kind of medial muscles are more important for balance. Look at that. Adductor muscles, they are close to midline. That is one reason. Then, what if adductor muscles get too tight? My feeling is when adductor muscle gets too tight, that kind of brings femur up. Then that creates tension around hip joint. Too much tension is not good thing. Thus, you need adequate tension on adductors. See, adductor muscles close to midline. They are important for maintaining balance. Again, foot is base of body. Then, Flexor hallucis longus is on medial part of leg. The adductor muscles are also in medial part of leg. So medial part inside of leg is important to maintain balance. I have to keep repeating. Of course, outside muscles are also important. It's all about relationships. It's all about balance. But I want you to focus on medial part as equally as lateral part. Now I talked about lower extremity. Now let's talk about core muscle. Today I want to focus on one muscle that is this one. This is transverse abdominis. Transverse abdominis. This is the deepest layer among abdominal muscles. This muscle is not very thick muscle. It's not thick like this one. This is rectus abdominis. Rectus abdominis is thick muscle. And this muscle can exert a lot of power. On the other hand, transverse abdominis is not that thick. So they, it cannot exert a lot of power. However, this muscle is important to maintain posture. Because it's thin muscle, it can have a lot of power. But during resting state, like you just stand up, you just lay down, you, you're just walking in natural speed, transverse abdominus maintains your pelvic position and lumbar position. That is important. Rectus abdominus, this guy contracts during intense movement, like sports, sprinting. Martial arts, that kind of high velocity activity requires rectus abdominis contraction. For transverse abdominis, not much. It's for a slow movement, natural movement. Thus, you need to focus on rectus abdominis during three pause. But how? How can you focus on rectus abdominis? Actually, it's hard to feel contraction of rectus abdominis. But one tip is you can focus this muscle during breathing. This muscle is also related for breathing. So you feel this thin corset deep inside of abdomen. Then when you breathe in, breathe out, this muscle reacts. Imagination is very important. This muscle is thin, deep, and it's very wide muscle. Visualization. Imagination is very important to enhance your proprioception, body image of yoga practice, sports practice. So I explain three places today. Foot, medial part of thigh, adductors, then core, transverse abdominus. Of course, other places are also important for tripos, like head position, cervical spines, lumbar spines, thoracic spines, or maybe shoulder position, knee position. All of body parts are important for anything. But today's three places are also important. So I wanted to give you new idea to 
look yoga pose from different angle. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.